everyone, it's Manda. Welcome to my channel. Today we are planning in my Erin Condren Wellness Planner. This is actually the last week. Actually, no. Maybe. I might use it. I might decorate both. Um, we'll just leave it like this. But uh, my fitness planner for 2023 starts next week, the 26th of, um, of December. Because it's a 12-year planner instead of an 18-month planner. Well, 12 year planner, 12 month planner instead of 18 month planner, like all my other ones. So we might be just decorating that one instead. Uh, but we shall see. I might just do, I might just use this, but not decorate it because I'll be carrying around this planner on the 26th as well. Um, but that week, because my other two planners don't start until the 2nd of January. For, for that's in this planner. So we're we're kind of working it out. But today I'm using uh, some cute little gnome Christmas stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby for like 50% off. They are adorable. Uh, and I'm also going to use the number stickers. What is it? The date covers. The I'm going to use these little candy date covers. I, I completely forgot that these were in here or I would have been using them all year already. I mean, all year, um, all season already. And I was just like, what? I forgot. No, they were in there. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started and start whiting some, some, some thing, things out. We're just going to white out all the words that we don't need, which are completely and utterly useless for me. Um, can't wait to get back into my old, good old f familiar fitness layout. Um, last time I used a, a classic fitness planner, I used a, just a vertical. Um, it's been a while since I've actually used the fitness layout. I think the year before, last year I used, um, a vertical. And then the year before that, I think I used the fitness layout. I can't remember. I'd have to go and like dig in my archive of boxes that are in my closet <laughs> to find out. Um, but yeah, we're going to use, I'm just going to pull this out to make it my life easier because it's already fallen, the thing's already fallen apart. So there we have, it. oh, come on. So we need 25th. So it's the 19th, 19th through the 25th of December. No, wrong one, wrong one. I wanted to use the candy ones. The candy ones, okay. The ones that look like little peppermint patty things. Not peppermint patties, but peppermint, um, hard candies. Peppermint squirrel candies, is that what they're called? You know what I'm talking about, peppermints. <laughs> so I'm actually, this weekend, going to, I need to go get more eggs. I'm going to be baking some cookies. They're really good. They're like our Christmas cookies. But I also need to go pick up a few things um, to make I, my traditional shrimp mold, which sounds disgusting. And it's like with jello and mayonnaise and cream cheese, but in tomato soup and shrimp and stuff. It sounds disgusting, but it's amazing. So it's kind of one of those things that we're like, just don't ask what's in it. Just eat it. <laughs> I think, okay, oh yay, okay. So we're gonna use these good old peppermint candy washies. Over here, just to give it a little something something. Um, and to use up some stickers. I don't think there's anything else from here. Unless there's more peppermint stickers. Nah, I think we'll leave it. Okay, there's that. That's all I want from there. Because now we're going to put some gnomes down. Because, like, who doesn't love... Oh, they're, like, on clear paper. Too. Who doesn't love gnomes? And they got glittery gnomes, too. Glittery. Let me see. I have to. These nails do not let me pick at stickers very well. Oh, these are very interesting texture. 
So we're going to put some here. Maybe another one over. I like this one. This one's so cute. It's adorable. Yeah, these are actually Dashing Diva Press On Nails. And they are doing so well on my nails. I have, um, they call them. I have very oily nail beds, so like even acrylic, real acrylic nails, like going to the store and going to a place and getting acrylic nails on my nails, um, they don't stay. So the fact that these have been staying for the last, I put them on Sunday and the only two that have popped off are my index fingers and that's because those are the two fingers that get the most abuse. Um, so I am actually, this is, I put them on Sunday, today is Friday, so what, Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, fr we're going on to six days, yeah, Sunday night to Monday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Tuesday night, Thursday night, Thursday night, Friday night, yeah, so we're like, six days, yeah, of having these on, on these, these four fingers, no, these, well, eight fingers, so, yeah, they're doing really well. I think they're supposed to last up to seven days. So, yeah, on Sunday, I have another set. But, yeah, if you have a problem with um, nails just popping off, the Dashing Diva nails, I highly recommend. Um, because they are doing so well. But, yeah, me and my oily nail beds are like, hmm. <laughs> are these gonna stick but yeah next time they have a big sale I am on them I am I am stocking up because that's what I did with um they had a Black Friday sale and I was like I'm gonna buy several sets to try and I bought Christmas ones I bought regular ones um so yeah I think I'm gonna put a couple of these little these little things. But they are amazing. I love them so far. So it's kind of like, what? Nails that actually stay on? Of course, I have been trying to be careful. But the, but yeah, it's usually the, these two and these two that it pops off fairly quickly. And the only problems I've had is these two, because these are my like primary nails, especially when typing or like when picking on something or t opening a soda or things like that. So, considering that abuse, they are doing really, really well. I'll put that one there. I'm gonna put this other one over here. There we go. Nomies. We got plenty, plenty of nomies. Okay. So I need boxes. I think I'm just gonna pull some from my ridiculous amounts of sticker boxes. We want that one. Do we have a green? Do we have greens? Kind of. So we will try. really just trying to use up as many stickers as I can. I am, that's sort of like my goal for 2023 is to not buy any more stickers. Unless like Happy Planner puts out something like really, really, really fantastic. Um, I like I barely bought anything in the last two years. I've been using kits, so. But I have a ridiculous stash of things so I need to just get through them and that's sort of my um, objective this year is to work my way through all the stickers I have and if I need more box stickers I will make my own because they're really really simple to make if you know how to if you have a silhouette <laughs> and know how to do that kind of thing um, basic graphic design super simple um, so let's put in the colors. So I picked these four colors. I think they'll be fine. 
They're the typical colors that I use, even without having a color theme. So I really want, it's so cold outside, I really want some pho, which is probably what I'm going to go get after I finish writing, well, doing this video. So cold. It is, oh, it's gone up two degrees since the last time I looked. It is 23 degrees outside. <laughs> That's probably because the sun's out. Um, but yeah. It's like the first sunny day we've had. Um, I'm sure Loki would love to go for a WALK, but it is too cold for him. I do not take him out unless it's like closer to 40 degrees. <laughs> he freezes a little, he's, he doesn't like putting on clothes or shoes. So he frees his little his little feet is off. He have a little he'll get a little frostbite on his toes. Um luckily he's a Pomeranian and he's potty tra potty pad trained, so he's good. I just exercise him at night using, you know, playing with him and things like that during these kind of super cold days. But he's just pretty much like, I'm just gonna sleep. <laughs> right now he's he, he's just looking at me like, why are you talking about me? You're interrupting my beauty sleep. Which, which is really funny because like he'll wake up at like one o'clock in the morning to go get water or something out of his bowl and then be like, Ruff! to get into the bed. I'm like, do you, why do you need permission to get in the bed? <laughs> it's like he's asking for permission. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I love these little gnomes. I hope you did too. Uh, if you did, please give it a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.